Hi, my name is Vario Raptor and this is my new series Character Profile where we will take a look at the origins of all 76 characters in Super Smash Bros Ultimate and how their original games inspired their designs and moveset. I wanted to start with a new addition to the roster to gauge if this is a series you guys are interested in. So if you are, please leave a like, subscribe and comment who you'd like to see next. Without further ado, the character we are going to be discussing today is a heal Pokemon, Incineroar. Incineroar is a dual type fire and dark Pokemon introduced in Generation 7 and hails from the Alolan region. He is the final form of the starter Pokemon Litten and evolves from Toracat at level 34. Incineroar's design is based off a heel wrestler and a tiger. This can be seen with his fire belt and the fact that he looks like he's wearing a wrestler's tank top. And his dark type helps to show that he's more of a villainous wrestler. His Pokedex entries also support this. This is a Sun Pokedex entry. This Pokemon has a violent, selfish disposition. If it's not in the mood to listen, it will ignore its trainer's orders with complete nonchalance. He's also the star Pokemon of the Master Royale. To my knowledge, Incineroar's only appeared in four mainline games, Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, and the respective sequels, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon, where he is renowned for being an excellent Pokemon in the doubles format and he has also appeared in the side game Pokemon Shuffle. Now let's talk about him in Super Smash Bros Ultimate. He's absolutely oozing with personality as if he successfully hits a move after he will taunt or he will become annoyed if he misses. Incineroar is the only character to do this and he looks fantastic when he does it. He is one of, if not the most animated characters in this roster and that's why I absolutely love playing as him. For his alternate skins, I couldn't find much information apart from his shiny sprite is in the game and it looks great. It replaces Incineroar's black fur with white, so only a minor change, it looks really nice. His other skins also include a full grayscale skin, a purple skin, my personal favourite, the orange skin, a blue skin, a darker black and red skin, and finally a green skin. His moves in Super Smash Bros Ultimate seem to be based off a mix of wrestling inspired moves and Pokemon moves. For example, his grabs a neutral air, look like they were taken straight out of a wrestling match. His neutral bait, Darkest Lariat, is Incineroar's signature move in the main Pokemon games, introduced alongside him, so it's no surprise we get to see it here. Incineroar swings his arms around damage in anyone he touches with his claws, the move deals moderate damage and has great priority. Incineroar's side special, Alolan Whip, is the only move not to be taken from the Pokemon games, so I don't have much background information on this one, but it has Incineroar lunge forward to send the opponents into the ropes and turnbuckles, the opponent then bounces back towards a wrestling tiger. There are then three outcomes. If you hit the move early, you send the opponent skyward. If you hit the move late or not at all, the opponent bumps Incineroar and they both take a small amount of damage. However, if you time the move correctly, Incineroar maims the opponent with a ferocious clothesline. Sorry, I can't resist. And that sends them flying backwards and deals absolutely massive damage. Incineroar's up special cross jump was first introduced in Generation 3 as a very powerful but relatively low accuracy fighting type move. However, in Super Smash Bros Ultimate, Incineroar makes it his own as he rockets to the sky, then plunges down at a diagonal angle, hitting anyone caught with a diving attack. However, watch out, as it's not great for recovering with. Incineroar's Dan Special Revenge was introduced in Generation 3 as well, as a decreased priority move that deals double damage if the Pokemon has taken damage already this turn. In Super Smash Bros Ultimate, Incineroar flashes and puffs out his chest, if you're struck while this is happening, it will take reduced damage and his next attack will deal bonus damage. This buff will remain unless Incineroar is KO'd. Incineroar hits an enemy, Incineroar is knocked out of control by an enemy, for example, thrown, or 60 seconds has passed since the buff was first activated. Finally, Incineroar's final splash, Max Malicious Moon Assault, is based over the Z move, Malicious Moon Assault. In both games, Incineroar does his ultimate wrestling move on his opponent inside a ring. However, in Ultimate, this move just looks incredible and it can even damage other opponents during the final four. And that's Incineroar's character profile. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am more than open to feedback if you have any suggestions for the series. If not, please let me know what character you would like to see next. But most importantly, have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye!